welcome to the last class of the optimal control and in today's lecture i am going to talk about very very famous approach that is called hamilton jacobi bellman approach to solve the optimal control problem in the previous class what we found that using dynamic programming one can obtain the optimal control just by using the principle of optimality and what we found that in order to apply dynamic programming for continuous time system first i have to discretize and after that i will apply or i will design the control sequence such that i am able to move from one point to another point or solve optimal con uh, control problem by minimizing some performance measure in today's lecture we are going to see that suppose i have continuous time system and i do not want to discretize that continuous time system and if i apply the dynamic programming and it is possible to show that in that particular situation one celebrated equation that is called hamilton jacobi bellman equation comes into picture and solution of that particular equation will give gives us the optimal control so i can able to achieve optimal control for continuous time system using the idea of dynamic programming that is the main goal of the last lecture so let us try to understand what is bellman principle of optimality so this is an alternate method of obtaining closed closed loop optimal control using principle of optimality and hamilton jacobi bellman equation and optimal policy we have already seen in previous class has the property that no matter what the previous decision decision means we are applying the control has been the remaining decision must constitute an optimal policy that is the basic idea so using that idea we are going to design the optimal control so i am going to take the non linear system and again here i am assuming that xt that belongs to rn and ut belongs to r and here this is my performance index what i am assuming that terminal cost that equal to 0 here i have written and due to that reason i have just this performance measure or performance index that is expressed like this so either you can write here g or v that doesn't matter so in order to remain consistency with dynamic programming i am going to use similar kind of language now to uh, now the objective is to find an optimal control that minimize the above cost function and now what i am going to assume that i have some kind of optimal solution that is x star and control u star that is also optimal then at that time i have this much of performance measure now you can see that i am assuming that whatever my terminal cost that equal to 0 and if i will take the time derivative of this particular performance measure then that i can write like dot j by dot x and x dot and after that since this is function of x as well as time t so so due to that reason i have to different term and here dot j by dot x and dot x by dot t and dot x by dot t is x dot and what basically we are doing we are calculating the time derivative along the optimal trajectory so due to that reason i have this kind of expression and after that i am going to substitute x star 
dot here and after substituting that I, I will get this kind of expression and one important thing that since my performance measure is expressed like this so if you calculate the partial derivative of this with respect to time then you can see that how basically we are doing I have to put tf everywhere in place of tau and after that this is the differentiation of integration and due to that reason dou d tf by and tf is constant suppose then this equal to 0. So tf is unknown but constant. Now t this t is variable due to that reason tau will come and d, tau by dt equal to 1 and due to that region I can express like this so property of the definite integral now what I am going to do I am going to take the help of these two equation help of this particular equation dou j by dou t so I am going to to substitute here so this value I am going to basically substitute here and after that if I collect each and every quantity then I will basically get this kind of expression so I have this kind of expression now now what I am going to do I am going to define the Hamiltonian function and in order to define the Hamiltonian function now I am going to select the performance measure so what, whatever integrant or, or per, per, performance measure I am going to take and after that partial derivative of this with respect to x transpose t and after that whatever our dynamics that kind of things I am going to select. So I have defined now Hamiltonian in this way. So if you define Hamiltonian in this way, then what happens that my boundary condition and I am assuming that terminal cost equal to zero, then from this equation you can see that I can obtain this equation. Because you know, I am assuming that this whole quantity up to here to here that is nothing but the Hamiltonian. And Hamiltonian along the optimal state optimal control so due to that region h star I have detained and this equation is called Hamilton uh, Hamilton Jacobi equation since it is further used the Bellman dynamic programming so now I am going to involve the idea of dynamic programming and due to that region this equation particularly this equation also known as Hamilton Jacobi and Belvin equation. So this is up to here I have Hamil Hamilton Jacobi equation but in order to process or proceed further towards the optimal control now I am going to use the idea of dynamic programming and due to that that region this name com comes into picture. Now if you remember the Pontryagin process so here basically what we are going to do we are going to compare whatever previous approach with the Pontragin process so so at that time what we found that basically whatever inside the integral so so inside the integral suppose I have some kind of quadratic function so so my performance measure so whatever performance measure uh, in case of the Pontryagin process. So I have some kind of, if you remember, then I have defining, uh, uh, defined H here and after that X TF and this is TF and after that, so this is terminal cost and after that uh, I have 0 to T0 to TF uh, you, can, you can write and after that I am going to define here X transpose QT into xt and after that plus half u transpose rt into ut and into dt. So in order to, to define the Hamiltonian we are collecting this term so same term and after that what basically we are doing we are taking the co-state uh, co variable and dimension of that co-state variable is same like the uh, uh, the uh, dimension of that co-state variable is same like the dimension of the dynamics and suppose if that is linear system then for linear system suppose if my system is x dot equal to at into xt 
plus bt into ut at that time we are multiplying with with this and in order to find that co state variable we have to solve one equation so in order to make sure or in order to uh, to give guarantee that necessary condition for the existence of optimal control we have to find the set equation co state uh, means a state equation co state equation and boundary condition so co state equation is nothing but partial derivative of hamiltonian unit with respect to x at the op, along the uh, optimal trajectory optimal control so same kind of equation i have now if you see if you compare with the previous previous slide so in previous slide i have taken the nonlinear system and whatever inside the int integrand so this is for linear system so for linear system we are defining like this here in place of h htf I, I can also uh, define something xtf and i have terminal cost suppose suppose here h whatever h i am going to consider this particular h is positive symmetric semi definite matrix and x transpose and xtf so this is for linear system and for linear system i have this kind of situation now i have no linear system and in no linear system i have performance measure if you see carefully then performance measure inside the integral i have this quantity so same quantity i am going to substitute and after that what i am going to do here this in place of this co state variable now i am going to take this particular variable so 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 here now just i have change here at the place of co state variable so now co state variable can define like this and now that co state variable is exactly nothing but lambda t and again if i take the lambda dot then i can apply same kind of theory so due to that reason after applying the pontryagin principle pontryagin condition for for the optimal control i can able to write like this now what i am going to do now first i have formulate the hamiltonian equation like this after that minimizing this equation i, I will uh, get the co state equation here i have very very specific co state equation and after that what we uh, we have understood that that this hamiltonian whatever hamiltonian we have defined here that hamiltonian should, should satisfy this hamilton jacobi bellman equation and where if suppose that boundary condition is zero then i have this kind of condition so using that i can able to find the optimal solution so in this process i can able to apply for the any linear system and non linear system to find the optimal control so difference is just here that here in place of the co state variable now i am going to use this kind of thing and after that i have to apply the hjb equation hamilton jacobi bellman equation now let us try to see this kind of process for the linear system so suppose if i have linear system x dot t at into xt plus bt into ut and y equal to xt is my my uh, my output and suppose here tf i am assuming infinity it means that tf final time is very very large and i am assuming that performance measure associated with that terminal cost is zero and after that control input is on constraint there is no constraint on con control input means uh, that can be very very large also and system is controllable this kind of assumption is required in order to design the control control is only feasible if system is co controllable and after that i will define the uh, hamiltonian exactly in the same way and after that this is linear system so in place of this particular quantity now i am going to substitute whatever integrand here that i am going to substitute here and after that this quantity and here so this step is, is i think that that is very very simple and after that in order to calculate the control i have to take the partial derivative of hamiltonian function with respect to u and after that i will get this amount of control and after that what i am going to do now in u star i am going to 
in h star i am going to replace this particular amount of control whatever control i am getting now i am going to substitute that amount of control in this particular equation so i have h star if if you see hamiltonian equation so hamiltonian equation i have formulated like this so in place of control u now what i am going to do i am going to substitute um, uh, substitute uh, the value dou h by dou u whatever value we are getting after dou h by dou u one more important thing i am going to to highlight here q is any positive symmetric definite matrix so q is positive symmetric semi definite matrix r is positive symmetric definite matrix because that is associated with the control so 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 i have this kind of assumption and after that now replacing this i have this kind of h star that is uh, the Hamil hamiltonian function and i can also able to simplify this in this particular here i have multiply everything and after that i, I have re rewrite like this so please just check it and after that what i am going to do now what is our aim our aim to simplify this particular equation so 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 i am going to express equation in some convenient form and after that now i am going to rearrange term each by each and after that by simplifying it what happens you can see that i have to construct this hjb equation dou dou j xt by dt into h star and h star in in this simple form i am going to substitute here and after that I, i am going to apply this kind of boundary condition suppose in this particular problem we are assuming that whatever our boundary quantity that equal to that equal to zero but if i have finite kind of things suppose boundary value performance measure is this so at that time i will assume that this particular j star will contain this kind of value during solution we will use this and after that now i am going to to solve this hjb equation and whatever solution of this equation so so final value i am i am assuming that that will satisfy this and after that what happens that it is possible to show that this this particular solution will satisfy some kind of quadratic kind of value so since performance index is quadratic if you select this and control u star is the term of j star which uh, one can seek this kind of j star and after that that uh, we are going to check that under what condition of pt this matrix is going to satisfy this hjb equation hamilton jacobi equation so same kind of things i am going to do so i have defined the j star the performance measure like this and after that what i am going to do i am going to take partial derivative with respect to t part, partial derivative with uh, with respect to x and after that whatever i have hjb equation in the previous slide so this is my hjb equation i am going to substitute that particular quantity so after sub substitution of this i have this kind of equation so so the, here you can see that everything is pretty simple so uh, here this this quantity and uh, with respect to x that is given by pt into x so i have to substitute Uh, this kind of quantity there and after that we will get this kind of exp expression and if you substitute in place of this dou j by dou t like this particular quantity dou j by uh, dou j by dou, uh, dou t here this quantity this quantity then i will get this kind of equation and after that it is possible to show since this quantity this particular quantity is always a scalar because hamiltonian equation is a scalar and here from from here you can see that this is a scalar and all summation equal to a scalar so if if you see any term any term inside this particular summation that is a scalar only and due to that reason this particular term is a scalar and i can also able to write this quantity like like this way So, so so that is not a difficult step to check and after that what happens if you puts everything then finally whatever term that comes into picture that is differential algebraic riccati equation so so i have differential riccati equation because p dot t is coming from 
differentiate uh, differential and if you solve this and if you are going to substitute this kind of boundary condition ptf equal to ftf because final cost i know that final cost is this if suppose that final cost is zero then ptf equal to zero so if you solve this particular differential Ricard equation because differential is involved due to that reason this is called differential Ricard equation. I hope that you have already encountered with this kind of equation. Then by solving this I can able to get the optimal control because you can uh, uh, first we will get optimal performance measure and once I will get the optimal performance measure then we know that now whatever performance measure and they are derivative with respect to x x dash uh, x star x star is optimal trajectory then i can able to get the pt into x and pt that is solution is coming from the d differential ricardi equation so so process is very very simple and it is possible to show uh, to show that using the pontragin approach if i have some kind of linear system then i have similar kind of similar kind of control again same kind of control i have so in this way i am able to get the get um, uh, uh, get the uh, closed loop control now in order to illustrate this process so so now i am going to summarize uh, the whole process if if i have some kind of linear system or non linear system so first you can define again the hamiltonian and whatever hamiltonian you are going to define basically we are going to define the hamiltonian in some a specific way where j is involved and after that we are comparing that with the pontryagin process and after that we have selected some kind of quadratic function and we are going to show that if quadratic function in some form x transpose pt into x then whatever closed loop control that coming from the linear system that is of this particular form now what i am going to do i am going to take one very very simple example one standard example and after that i will show you the construction of the optimal control so i have taken this system and after that i have taken this particular performance measure and now in this particular performance measure whatever language i have used just now whatever quantity inside this particular integrand that i have defined like this whatever terminal things i have defined like this and my dynamical system so 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 right hand side of dynamical system i am going to select in this particular way now what i am going to do in a step first i am going to define the hamiltonian and in order to define hamiltonian again in integrand quantity and after that whatever our performance measure so this is our performance measure j so i am going to take per, uh, partial derivative of per, uh, performance measure with respect to x and that just work like co state variable and i am going to multiply with that in that way i will i will get this kind of hamiltonian equation and since control has no constraint so i can able to to calculate uh, the control by solving this particular equation and if you solve this equation then i will get this kind of optimal control now what i am going to do i am going to substitute that particular optimal control inside this particular hamiltonian so here you can see that i have u star and here ut so in both place what i am going to do i am going to substitute this particular control that is jx and if you substitute that particular control then this is this is our hamiltonian function and once i will get the hamiltonian function then no task is easy, uh, easy everywhere what you can do you can you can replace everything with optimal and after that jt and by substituting that you can get this particular equation so now in order to find the optimal control now you have to just solve for jt because if you see a uh, jx because if you see the optimal control that is equal to minus jx so from here somehow i have to solve 
the jx and i know the boundary condition boundary condition is jx tf and tf this is this quantity and that equal to half xf uh, x square tf in this particular problem so in this problem if you see carefully then i have this kind of this this is the final final uh, uh, performance measure at the terminal terminal cost you can tell so terminal cost i have so same kind of things i have done now what i have to do i have to find the solution of this particular equation that is called hjb equation hamilton jacobi bellman equation and i have to keep in mind that this quantity at x tf and tf that is equal to this now what i am going to do i am uh, assume a solution and check that solution is satisfied or not in this simple case because this is a scalar quantity so i uh, this is very very simple case and i have to find the control in terms of a state we know that linear system so state feedback will exist and due to that reason what i am going to do i am going to define this particular performance measure in terms of quadratic function and just now what we have seen that uh, if i have generalized case then we are defining half x transpose pt into xt but here i have single input so i can also define like a half x squared p so in same way i have defined here and after that what we have done that pt is unknown function and and that uh, that satisfy this kind of boundary condition and that kind of boundary condition ptf equal to, to 1 from here you can able to calculate the final boundary condition half x square tf and you know that this particular boundary condition and from here also you can put the tf in place of t you can put tf and after that just you can equate it in this way i can uh, i can able to claim that ptf equal to 1 now jx means partial derivative of j with respect to x is given like this jt if you uh, give uh, calculate with respect to time only one one uh, quantity is explicit function of time due to that reason p dot is involved here then control is given like this and after that what now you have to, to do you have to just substitute everything inside the the hjb equation inside this equation in this equation you can substitute uh, just uh, above in that equation you can substitute jt in jx and after that you can check that what kind of things basically comes into picture now if you substitute everything inside this equation then i have this uh, this equation so if xt is not equal to 0 then what happens that this should be 0 because multiplication of these two be 0 so initially if you are at equilibrium then there is no need to apply any control but if you are you, uh, if you are uh, you have some initial condition then this should be zero then only multiplication equal to zero so i have this and uh, we have just seen now that ptf from from this particular solution we have seen just now that ptf equal to one so that is the boundary condition for this particular particular equation particular differential equation and now by putting this boundary condition if you solve this equation so this is first order equation so 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 uh, uh, first order differential equation and after solving it is possible to show that solution is given like this and suppose if your time is very very large infinity so pt so you can you, you try to uh, to check that as as tf final time so you can substitute here tf that tending towards infinity so this whole control input that is tending towards this value because all other quantities this is exponential term this is exponential term and t minus tf if tf is tending towards zero then so this term is zero this term is zero so pt p infinity equal to root, uh, root 5 minus 2 so in this way if tf is very very large then i can design this kind of control and using this optimal control so i have closed loop optimal control for first order system such that in optimal way i can able to steer from any initial condition to the origin so in this way i can able to apply hamilton jacobi bellman equation in order to solve the the continuous time optimal control problem so in order to solve continuous 
time optimal control problem using based on the idea of dynamic programming finally everything is boils down to hamilton hamilton jacobi bellman equation so with this particular remark i am going to end the today's lecture so in this whole course i have talked about the optimal control what is meaning of optimal control how to define performance measure how to design optimal control what is meaning of what is relation between calculus and variational calculus so and finally what happens that we have seen that how to apply dynamic programming principle to to obtain the closed loop control uh, in last two classes and basic idea everywhere is the idea of optim optimality or principle of optimality so with this remark i am going to end this whole course so thank you very much